What's up everybody? Welcome back to Old Volks TV. It is a beautiful day in Central Texas today. Perfect safari window weather. I was all excited this morning. I got up to, uh, to go get some coffee and grab some donuts for the family while they were all still asleep. And I came out to the bus and I did my, my pre-trip walk around, you know, and, and uh, check to make sure I got air in the tires, make sure nobody's hanging out, sleeping behind the bus and whatever. And as I'm walking around, I come around the back and I see this, this horrible, disgusting mess. Uh, this is not good, <laughs> as Matt Jackson would say. That's not good. That's not good at all. Uh, so I got down there and uh, I gave it a little, a little sniff and uh, I thought it was going to be gear oil. I thought my, my bearing spacer, my seal was going to be bad. Not that at all. Uh, we kind of got lucky. It's actually just brake fluid. Um, it's all my brake fluid. Uh, the bottle's empty, so we're going to have to, you know, do some refilling. When I did my disc brake kit, uh, I noticed that that wheel cylinder was going to, was giving me a little bit of trouble. The bleeder was a little bit loose in there, and I, I did some things I'm not really proud of uh, so I could go on that trip to Arkansas, and I had nothing but trouble with the brakes the whole time. Uh, so I went ahead and ordered the wheel cylinder and a soft brake line for the back uh, then. But then the problems went away and it wasn't leaking and I had good brake pressure and everything was, was just super great. Until now, you know, we came back from the harvest weekend. Uh, I don't know if it was towing the Ghia around behind the bus or if it was just that long trip on the bus or what, or that I've been driving it every weekend really, really hard for the past like month. Uh, but something blew up at that wheel cylinder so we're gonna go ahead and get this bus turned around and and get to work on it uh since i already have the parts i kind of thought ahead and, and i had them so we can put them on so we'll get get the tools together we'll get the bus turned around and we'll get to work inside there um, so before we take anything off or do any work in there we're gonna clean it up a little bit uh, so what we're gonna do we're gonna take our super clean floor absorbent sent to us by the super clean team thanks guys and uh, I got my little oil tray down here basically what we're gonna do is just we're gonna give her a little sprinkle they can catch anything that drips down um, so that way it doesn't make such a mess uh, you know, as we're doing it pretty pretty gross in there Here's my handy dandy brake job tool that I made. Uh, I just took a cheapo Harbor Freight screwdriver and uh, notched it to help get the springs off.
All right, now that we got that off, you can see where the problem was. This right here, it's all goopy and full of crap. So we're gonna replace it with a new one. Yay. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get that one off and uh, put the new one on. We're gonna take our number 13 and it's just this one little guy right here. And then the uh, brake light on the back side. So go ahead and pop those off. There's the old one. See that? It's not supposed to do that. <laughs> so that's why we we're having a problem. Also, the bleeder was no good. So we got a brand new one from our friends at, uh, oh, I think I got that at Apple Tree Automotive. And, uh, it's the right one. No play. See there, no play. So we put that back in just the way the other one came out. And then we'll attach our brake line and then we gotta bleed the system and put a whole bunch of fluid in there. Make sure you pull this little cap out. There's a little plug. Keep stuff from getting in there, you know, in transport. Um, and then you wanna make sure you turn these so that they're pointing the right way for your shoes there because when we put that in there the shoe's going to be closer to that now it'll kind of adjust itself as you get it put the shoes on but you want to get it as close as you can Put that on by taking the bleeder out and it may drip a little bit but that's gonna make that's gonna make uh, tightening this up and not cross threading it a lot easier Do not cross thread that, boy. You will have a bad time. It's best to just take your time and make it, get it in there right. Snug, but not too tight. That all cleaned up.
filthy dirty, but I think we're done. <laughs> it's gonna take it for a quick little test drive around the neighborhood, make sure the brakes are working correctly, the pedal feels pretty good. We're just gonna double check, make sure the bus actually stops. And uh, then we're done. Let's go for a little ride. Well, I think we got it. Drives is a lot better. Uh, I actually have a better pedal feel because I know now that thing's not sucking air like it was. Super good. So uh, I think that's it. We got it all set. Uh, we got nice brakes. I need to adjust the e-brake a little bit. Uh, but we'll make that another video. That's a whole pain in the ass thing because we got to do both sides. Uh, so there you go. Get you a t-shirt at the link down below. Who knows where we're getting them from these days. But you'll find out if you go look at the description of the video. And in the top there it says buy shirts here. Right there. That's where you get them. Uh, visit all the friends at all the places that we got for you. All the websites. Go to oldvolkstv.com and you'll find all the links for everybody right there. Boom, right in the front. And they're in the description too, right at the bottom. So you don't even have to go anywhere. But if you want to, check out our new website. And... Thanks for watching.